Right, guys, thanks for joining us. Um, first off, Kev, what do you think has been the key ingredient to the success so far? Um, I just think it's our, I've said it a few times now, I just think it's our team spirit. Um, I think we're close as a team, on and off the field, and I think that's helping us on the field. And um, A lot of us have played together now for two and a half, three years, and we sort of understand each other now, and it seems to be working. About half that time you've been playing with, with Mo now, what's that been like? Um, it's hard work playing with Mo because you have to do all these running and that, but nah, um, anyone that watches knows that um, as a striker you need good wingers, it's not just Mo, it's Coxie as well. Um, and I think in these two, um, I think we've got the best two wingers in the club, also in the league, and long may it continue. Mate, two goals for you last week, must have been nice. Is that end product something that you seem to have really put into your game this year? Yeah, I just thought that the club, the players, They've all been like getting onto me a little bit about that like, end product and getting my head up in the final third and looking for a pass. So I was just delighted to it's finally paying off. Um, at at uh, Swindon in particular earlier on, next couple of times you having a bit of a word with Mo. Is there certain things you say to Mo during the game that you have to yeah, keep up the backside a bit? Yeah, or? I think it's my it's my duty, it's my job. Um, I played with some good wingers over my my career. It's my duty to to help Mo. And hopefully he's progress in football and, and, and I think anything I say to him is positive. I've, I've never given him any negative feedback. Anything I say to him is to try and encourage him and, and encourage the team because I think, as I say, he's a massive part of the team, as is Dino. But um, yeah, Mo's a, a massive part of this side and, and if he can improve himself, and it helps the team and it, and it helps him. Um, and it definitely helps me as a striker. And I think, as you see, as the months go by and the years go by, he's, he's progressing. And, I mean, he's got five goals already this season, which is which is good for a, a winger. And um, Coxie's got, I think, seven as well. So yeah, we're flying right now. And uh, the strikers in front of you, obviously, everyone's weighing in with goals. Over fifty now um, for the team, but the strikers in front of you getting goals. What is it you look for as a winger? What strengths have they got from your point of view? From my point of view is in that once the ball gets played to them, they basically bring me and Coxie into the game, which is the main thing how we get the ball personally and I'd say for them scoring as well by themselves is even better. Do you need to, when people like Mo and Coxie have got the ball, do, they've been in the side all season, do you need to think about where you're going to go or is it a case of you just... Yeah. No, I think that's the main thing now, isn't it? I think that's, what, I think that's why we're doing so well now. And when Coxie gets it now, I know exactly what he's going to do. Um, if you look at our goals, me and Moons, most of our goals Maybe you shouldn't be saying it on tape, but most of our goals come from from Mo and and, and Coxie and, and me and myself. But yeah, I think we've got that sort of understanding now that we're not just rigid now and we're not just up and down. Um, as you see, Mo goes the other day, he cuts inside. Coxie cuts inside. He gets a tap in the other day. Um, I think us four as a as a attacking four, we, we know how each other plays now. And we sort of cover for each other, and and I think it's it's, it's starting to work in sync now. You mentioned that you felt it was your responsibility to sort of help the younger players along. Obviously, you're one of the older players of the squad. Yeah, just about, just about. Yeah. Um, Mo, one of the younger ones. Do you feel, obviously, you've probably been in Mo's shoes, been an exciting talent mm -hmm. yourself. What sort of things do you want him to learn from? Um, well, as I say, I think with Mo, it's important, it's not just Mo, young players, L, it? but when you play, you play with your head up, um, especially Mo, the way he plays. and. As quickly as he travels, um, it's important to get your head up with them because obviously people start doubling up on you. And, and I think he's realised that in the last few games, and I think the last few games, I think he's been our best player. Um, when we've needed him, he's produced. And, and as I say, it's my duty. I've played with some good wingers I could name over my career, um, and, and, and I can pass it on to him. And, and I'm quite close with Mo anyway, so I always want the best for him, as I do with any of my teammates. And, and he's one of them young boys that listen, so I think that's important as well. What about you, Mo? When you look at Kev, someone that's had a long career in the game, what sort of things do you want to take from him? Um, first and foremost, I'm just like very thankful that like, everything that he tells me is like coming from like his heart and it's pure. And like, I just, like, he's had an unbelievable career. So I just, just wish the same for myself. And just lastly, now, sort of, coming towards the, or over a third of the way through the season. What are your, both of you really, I guess your, your both personal aims for the rest of the season? Just just to keep the, the good form going and touch with no serious injuries in the camp.
and then we'll see what the, the new year brings. I, I think personally, um, as a striker, and I'm sure as well as you know, if I, there's only one aim. I think it's only got one aim, and, and that is to to do well as a team. Um, goal tallies. I've not you know, asked me what my goal tallies. I've not got one. Um, if we got promoted and I stayed on 12 goals, I'd be over the moon. Um, if we got in the playoffs and I was in 12 goals, I'd be over the moon. Mine and my team's goal is to to do well this season, and, and it's not really. I don't know about everyone else. I can't speak for anyone else, but it's not really any individual tallies or goals for myself. And um, I'm sure the same for mine. And just very lastly, fans are keeping an eye out for a couple of mascots. Yeah, yeah, I've got the the, the young boy, my twins, the, the mascots at their birthday on Sunday, so they're going to be mascots on on on, on Saturday, so that'll be nice for me, and, and hopefully I can get a go and jump in the crowd and get booked. <laughs>